Hello everyone, how are you doing? I am Tesak and now I can do this. So last week have been crazy productive. I managed to finish a bunch of stuff on Games Defenders and other projects as well. And wait, Games Defenders? Oh yeah, uh, that's the game I'm working on right now. I already made Steam page for it, so go ahead and wishlist it. It costs you nothing but makes me and Steam extremely happy. Anyway, to stay on the topic of Game Defenders, I'm happy to announce that I managed to fix all known bugs, including issues with talents and all the errors. Besides that, I implemented some new features like mod unlocking, which will come in handy in the full version, as having all mods unlocked by default would be overwhelming for new players. I also reworked the game background, as I said in last devlog, and this time around I changed the tileset approach to custom drone background image. Advantage of that is that I can add more details and all these details are not restricted by the amount of tiles and the placement of tiles. Of course the drawback is that it's more time demanding and I cannot reuse it. I will also add some more details later on, but first I need to get the right feeling for it, see if it works because after all it's a background and I don't really wanna make it too busy. On the other hand, something I hope to do in the near future is to finally rework all animations and sprites for some weapons. I got some feedback that it would be better to move weapons to the other hand and let characters' faces be seen instead. It's probably a good point, but I have to think about it first. Animations will be reworked in the close future though, for sure. And one last thing I hope to finish before releasing another beta version is save file compatibility. As is right now, the save files are not compatible between versions and I need to figure out how to change that for obvious reasons. And now shortly on YouTube and Discord as well. As you've seen in the intro and also as you could see through the last week, I've been allowed to use the community tools for both of my channels, which is something that I literally said would be really awesome in the last devlog. This is awesome because I hope I would be able to use these tools to involve more of you guys with some event stuff and maybe even some game development. I will have to think about it a bit more, but yeah, it's awesome. Also last week, this YouTube channel reached 69 subscribers. So thank you very much for subscribing and sticking around, mainly because 69 is a really funny number. No, no, but with all seriousness, thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Besides YouTube, there have been some changes on Discord and more is coming. First, I added new Discord minigame. It's essentially a miniature version of D&D, like a game, where I am the DM telling story of one adventure and anyone can vote on the decisions of the character. Right now there is one turn roughly every day, but I got some feedback that it would be better to do only one turn every other day or maybe even every three days so more people have time to read through the story and place the vote. So that might change, but I will have to ask people around first. Bottom line is, join the Discord server and give it a try. It might be fun. And I think that's it for today. Come back next week and learn more about Game Defenders and my other projects as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, ring the bell and subscribe. Also, links to Game Defenders, my social media and other games are in the description. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, see ya!